Hey everybody, it's Deanna with toolsofenergyprotection.com, your energy shift expert. And tonight I'm doing the best I can to line up my Instagram and my Facebook cameras at the same time, trying to keep them as close as possible. Uh, so it doesn't look like I'm just looking at one and not the other. But while we're waiting for everybody to get on, um, I'm so super excited tonight for everybody to join uh, on and uh, talk about the energies. It is uh, April 16th, 2019. Believe it or not, it is spring and we have uh, holidays coming up and time to share with our family and our friends, but it's also flu season. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to flu season. So um, originally, to, oh, thank you for the, oh, I got some stars and some hearts over here. Thank you for that uh, very much. And um, I want to talk to you tonight also about being in sync with the universe. One of my beautiful clients um, texted me here on Facebook, actually, um, about what's going on in the universe. And she showed me uh, a video where they took a book like balls suspended, you know, kind of the old clock thing where they would take the circles and suspend them and they'd bounce back and forth. But these are doing really unique patterns. Um, uh, and being in synchronicity and harmony with each other. And I asked her if there was music. She said, no, there's no music. But what she wanted to know was, uh, she said she seemed to be out of sync with the universe. And she wanted to know if she was correct or if she was incorrect, if she really is in sync with the universe or out of sync with the universe. So addressing that first, there are times when we do feel like we are not in sync with the universe, because no matter what we're doing, everything seems to be going wrong. It seems to be causing us a lot of stress. It seems that um, uh, that maybe God's spirit or source just doesn't like us, or we feel like we're being punished for something or suffering from something. And all those things are a matter of perspective. Those are just a matter of how we see things, how we perceive things in our own mind. And even myself, one of the reasons I shared with you a couple weeks ago that I had gotten ill is because I was very stressed out about things in my life. And, you know, it's not easy um, to run your own business, especially in the spiritual uh, realm. And it's not easy to raise children. And it's not easy to run a household. And Sometimes relationships with other people are challenging, but it's perspective of what's inside because whatever is inside here is what we're projecting out there. And what, what is out there are the mirrors of other people that are in our lives and they're only reflecting back to us what we're reflecting to them. Think about that. What we're reflecting on the inside or projecting outwards is what people in our lives reflect back to us. If you're having challenges with somebody in your life who is particularly nasty, um, I've had people say, oh, Deanna, you know, um, I have a sociopath or I have a narcissist in my life and I'm certainly not sending out energy for that kind of behavior to come back to me like gaslighting and all these other things people do. That's true. But are you reflecting out to the universe safe boundaries? So, you know, if, you, if you're old enough, though, I will admit, when you're younger and you're little, um, people will, uh, for lack of better terms, groom you to accept certain behaviors. You know, if, you're, if you grew up with an alcoholic dad and you always saw him drinking and he always talked down to you, you, you know, that, that imprinted on your brain. But it also sets you up to accept the other people's bad behaviors because that's what you were used to. So there may be somebody in your life that reflects that bad behavior and, and you don't like it and you think, what am I doing? And, and so there becomes safe boundaries that you draw and you can tell, you know, other people if you're acting in a particular manner then, you know, I'm, I'm going to draw this boundary with you. And a perfect example is I used to have a woman who I was very close to who would call me and she would belittle me and berate me and tell me that I was worthless and not so many words, but they call it dressing you down. And I got to a point where I was tired of that. And so I told this woman, 
if you choose to call me, we can talk about the weather. We can talk about cooking. We can talk about, you know, what was on the latest TV show. But if you start telling me how terrible I am, if you start telling me that I don't know how to do things and, you know, just at being very ugly, then I will hang up on you. That's a boundary. But it was a boundary I could also back up. And so that's the other thing is being careful of your, if you're going to draw a boundary, you have to be able to back it up. Because when the time came, she called me, she berated me. I said, I told you if you did this, I was going to hang up. And so I hung up on her. And she didn't like it and she called back. I didn't answer. Because I didn't want to go through that anymore. And that's just a small example. But if you're, if you're experiencing things where you're feeling out of sync with the universe, because that's what the person was asking me. And they were wanting to know if it's true. Well, not necessarily. And what it, where the energies are right now, and the planets and the moon that's coming and all these things that are going on energetically for us right now, we're realigning ourselves with more positive energies. Okay, one more time. We, each individual and you out there, <laughs> are realigning yourself with more positive energies. That's what's going on right now. The universal energies are reflecting that through uh, the different planetary shifts. And if you notice, it's spring right now. And spring is symbolic of renewing, regeneration, waking up. You know, the trees and the plants that have been underground are waking up and uh, things are growing and sprouting. And so are we. We are being asked, those of us that are spiritually awake and gifted and highly sensitive, to realign ourselves with positive things. And those things include what you put in your mouth, what you allow in your living space, what you allow in your workspace, what you allow, you know, in your relationships. And relationships, that's a huge subject. It can be relationships with yourself, relationships with others, relationships with food, relationships with addictions, a relationship with anxiety. <laughs> you know, you're in relation to something else. And so there's a lot of shifting going on right now. So one thing I'd like to tell you is to be easy and gentle on yourself. And because I have been sick for the last couple of weeks, I, I don't have a choice. Because if I'm not sick, or not sick, I'm not, sorry, gentle with myself, then my body's not going to recuperate the way that it needs to. So I'm, I'm allowing myself to be less stressed out lately. And that sometimes is challenging because, you know, I like to go and blow and do all kinds of things, but I'm realizing that now is not that time. Now is the time to align to what's positive and good and true and right and be reborn. And that also um, matches um, up with the beautiful holiday coming up Sunday, Easter. You know, he is risen, and it's time for us to rise out of whatever tomb we've been in, because some of us have been in a dark place for a long time, and maybe we didn't know it, and God's spirit of source is showing it to us. I know in my own life, I've been shown um, some things I've been doing just because they were part of who I was from my brain and my patterning when I was younger, and I didn't even realize it until I prayed about it, and God said, hey, poof. <laughs> You're doing this stuff, and and I was like, wow. And I looked at it, and I was shocked. And I was like, wow, I can't believe I've you know been having this behavior. And so now I'm working on releasing that, which takes a while. The human body is the slowest body we have, and it takes a while. So please be gentle and loving on yourself. Map yourself out something to do. Map yourself out uh, like I want to write out. You know, get up in the morning and. Uh, check my pH level and, you know, take my protein powder and drink my water, you know. They're really simple things that you can get into a routine of doing, but if you write them out and you see them, you're more likely to do them than if you just keep them in your head. That's human behavior. It's just how we are. Okay. So um, I'd like to go back uh, to um, addressing um, – uh, something else uh, that's very important right now, and that's this this flu that's going around. And um, I do the best I can to stay away from 
conspiracy theories and stuff like that. But this is um, something that I believe to be true and real. And I'm going to share it. I shared it a little bit last uh, week and I'm going to share it again. Um, there's a flu that's going around that's very nasty. Uh, it does not play fair. <laughs> uh, and the symptoms of it um, are uh, intense pain, very intense pain in your joints and in your muscles. I had a client today who shared with me um, that she had pain in her back and her hips. That's where I had my pain. And it's anywhere, it seems to be people that are calling me, wherever their joints have been weakened in the past, either from rheumatoid arthritis or back pain or whatever, wherever your body's been weak, that's where this particular virus will strike and it will just crank up that pain so bad um, that you'll, uh, well, I hope you don't get it, but when I had it, I cried myself to sleep because the pain was so bad. And it, it really is a nasty thing and it makes you want to go to, um, uh, you know, it makes you want to go to um, the hospital or get some big massive painkiller, um, which is not necessary, but, you know, with these lab created viruses, it's hard to fight them with natural things, you know, like lemon juice and, um, ginger root and, you know, just different things that you can take to help your body to heal. And so it is real and it is there. So um, what I did find out, and it gives you the hot, uh, the other, one of the other symptoms that seems to be pervasive is it gives you the hot and cold chills. First you're hot, then you're cold. First you're hot, then you're cold. I thought it was just me in that time of life, but apparently this is part of this lab created disease. But the good news is what I did find is I did find a frequency to help heal it. So there's a tune, a tone, or a frequency, a vibration that can be applied to this particular flu virus to, to increase the amount, um, to increase your ability to heal from it more quickly. So uh, this flu um, lasts about a week and um, I managed to get it into about four days the first time and then I worked and got sick again. But um, the, this, this, this nasty virus, created virus, it, it's got a stealth mode in it. And so it's very important to, to apply the right frequency to it so that your body can identify it. Because right now our bodies aren't identifying it and that's why it's able to attack the way it is. It's, it's like an, an enemy, you know, coming into your harbor and you don't have anybody to protect the harbor. It's just absolutely nasty. So um, if you find yourself having this flu or if someone you know has it, I uh, probably about an hour uh, session will do it and we will go in and find the, these particular um, uh, bugs, if you will, and apply the right frequency to them so it will shift and allow your body to heal faster than if you don't um, and, and to decrease your, your, your healing time. Um, I didn't find a way while I was there to, to get rid of the pain altogether through that. I had to go some other techniques, which I can share with you um, when you get on uh, the phone with me. So my number at the bookstore is 303-964-9339. That's for heaven's sakes books in Denver. And I will be there on Thursday. I did call the store today and there are some slots available. If you're new at energy healing and you're like, you know, this woman is wacko. I don't know if it works. I don't want to jump in because I'm not sure, blah, blah, blah. You know, I get it. And not to be passe about it, but I get it. I've been doing this job for 12 years and I love it and it works. And it's, a, it, it, it's challenging to convey that to people, but it, it really does. So if you have this flu bug or if you have a challenge you can't seem to get past, there's a tune, a tone, a frequency to, to shift that for you. And if you don't, uh, you know, if you think, oh, wow, that's hooey, you know, think about if your favorite song comes on uh, the radio or whatever device you listen to music by, do you just sit there like this? Probably not. You're probably, woohoo, you know, and you're jamming because it's your favorite song. Well, what just happened? A frequency 
of a musical piece changed the frequency of your body and your body moved, right? It's what dancing is about. It's about your body becoming at one with the music. People that do, do drumming circles know a lot about that. So I'm only doing half hour appointments right now at the For Heaven's Sakes bookstore. So if you'd like to make an appointment with me um, and try a half hour and see it, see what it's like for you, then I encourage you to do that. 303-964-9339. Now I'm going to take a pause from that. I'm going to look at uh, both my um, Facebook and my Instagram and see if I've got any messages here. Um, I've got, uh, hi again to Andrew. Thanks for coming back, Andrew. Yes, I am feeling better. It has taken me a while, um, but that's because I went to work when I wasn't fully uh, healed. And then hi to Deborah um, and uh, Rosemary, thank you so much for joining me on Instagram. I hope you'll be back next week. Um, if you do have questions, you can pop them in the feed or go uh, on Instagram. You can go to my page. I think it is the, the profile and send me a message. Or you can go to toolsofenergyprotection.com and find me there. All right, let's see uh, who we got over here in uh, Facebook. Oh, hi to Tim. Thanks for joining. <laughs> and Anna, um, looks like we have Chad is joining and Missy is joining and uh, Shannon Miner. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Oh, Janine. Oh, Janine, nice to see you back. And Nancy, good to see you too. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the feed and I'll be more than happy to, um, to answer uh, any questions that you might have. But other than that, for the rest of this week, as far as the different frequencies that are happening because the planets are shifting and Schumann's resonant frequency, the heartbeat of the earth we haven't talked about in a while, this is really a week of aligning yourself with relationships. And we talked about some of those. And it can be relationships with other people. It can be relationships with your work. It can be relationships um, with your own physical body. But that's what God's spirit of source has put us in a place right now and asking us to align to our bodies, to our minds, to our souls, to other people. And if there are other people in your life that are not, you know, good for your health or your mental uh, health, or they're not supporting you um, and just being. And supporting can be something as simple as just calling a friend and saying hello or going for a walk with them. You know, if you're finding people that are disruptive in your life, then, you know, it's time to check in with yourself and see why it is that that's happening and what you, can you do to change it. That's just a, that's just a huge part of our existence um, right at the present um, moment. And so... Um, it's something to really consider. And then the other thing that's happening um, is that the, the uh, our DNA is being activated a little bit more. And the DNA, um, you know, go Google or look up how much of the human brain we actually use. And it's so very little. And our DNA is being activated to give us bigger understanding about what's going on in the universe and why we're here and you know, what does this all mean? And so your mind may begin to opening up to that this week also. Don't be afraid of it. If you have questions, again, you can call me um, or go to the website toolsofenergyprotection.com and click on personal sessions and book a session when we can get together. So that, um, <laughs> excuse me, is pretty much it. And also for those of you that have had sessions with me before, um, I'm going to have next week um, my new assistant reach out to you and so she may be emailing you or giving you a call or text to see how you're doing because I know it's been a while since I've been able to get around to a lot of you and I want to make sure that everybody's doing okay so just know that that she'll be calling or maybe texting to reach out and see how you're doing and her name is Gloria and she can't wait to meet all of you so hopefully um, uh, you'll be able to connect and maybe share some things with her uh, that you may be looking for or needing. But anyway, have a great and wonderful night. It is um, almost Easter, which happens on Sunday. And so I hope all of you be spending time with family and friends. And, you know, if you know a single person or someone without a family, please reach out to them and include them in your festivities because they always appreciate 
um, not being alone. Uh, make one more sweep here and see if we've got any questions. And hi, hi back to Chad. Um, let's see here. Andrew says, I used to be much more in tune and empathetic, but it's been hindered. Yes, Andrew. Um, people that are empaths, people that are highly sensitive, we use um, an area up here uh, called the amygdala, which is the flight or fight response. And if you drink a lot of coffee, if you have a lot of caffeine, if you have a lot of sugar, sometimes that amygdala will get blown out um, and cause problems with our intuition. It's not always a health thing, but it can be. And that's why there's so many toxins put in the foods and the, and the drinks that are put out there for us to consume. And you have to be really more careful about that. And um, there could be also some activation issues. If you wanna reach out to me uh, and we can set a time and get together and take care of that. So thank you all for showing up and have a great and wonderful night. Big kisses and I'll see you next week.